What's up guys, Andre here, and today I'd like to show you how you can use Tailwind CSS with Angular. In case you didn't already know, I'm a huge fan of Tailwind and use it wherever I can. I'm currently exploring the Angular ecosystem and figured we'll try to get Tailwind working within Angular. So I found some information about how to use Tailwind with Angular, but the easiest way by far I found was to use this plugin over here. So let's go ahead and make use of this. So I have an existing Angular CLI project here using Angular 7 at the time of this recording, and I haven't done anything except install it. So let's go ahead and follow these instructions here. Okay, so full installation and usage guide. So first thing is to install the package globally. So I'm gonna install it globally. Okay, so it says just make a project with the Angular CLI, which I already did. And next is to follow steps one to three from the Tailwind docs. So the first one is to install Tailwind. Let's do that. Okay, next is to initialize it. Let's do that. This should make a Tailwind config. Okay, and next is to make a CSS file. So we need this, and it also says recommend, you can put it wherever you want, but it recommends putting it in the source file as tailwind.css. So I'm gonna touch that file, and I'm gonna copy this, and we'll paste that in. So back to here, here it is. Let me just paste it in, okay. What's next? Okay, so this requires a config file and if you run this command, it'll make a config file. And you have to put the path to your Tailwind config and you have to also put your path to the Tailwind, the outputted Tailwind CSS. So we can just leave it and change the path once the config is made. So let's do this. So we now have this ng tailwind.js. So right here. And let me just close that. And as you can see, it uses absolute paths, but I think you can use Yeah, it says you can use relative paths with no consequences. So it's probably better to use relative paths if you're gonna share this with team members. Um, so let's see if we can get relative paths working. So the config is gonna be in slash tailwind.js. The source is gonna be tailwind CSS in source slash source slash tailwind dot CSS. And the output CSS, we'll just put it in here. So style CSS is where your global style should go. So let's do source styles dot CSS. Okay. What's next? Okay, so now it says to add or adjust these scripts in your package JSON. So let me just copy these. And let's go to our package JSON. And let me just paste them in here. And comment them out. Okay, so pre-start is not there already, so we can use that. And then start is already here, so let's just copy this and put it in our start. So it's just adding the ngt ng tailwind watch command. And for build, it adds the ng tailwind build command. So, okay, get rid of this. Save that, okay. Okay, so now we should be able to run npm start instead of, instead of ng serve 
because it's running ng serve here and this should make tailwind work so let's see if that works i'm going to stop my ng serve here and i'm going to run npm start actually let's first add a tailwind class uh, in our component so an app component html let's just add class equals bg blue okay so now let's run npm start okay so i got an error here with the pads let's see if i can fix that maybe dot let's see if we put dot if that will work let's try again Okay, so that looks like it's better. Okay, so now if I run this, if I open it in my browser, I mean, there we go. We have Tailwind working. So let's see if this updates, if I change something in here. So I'll change it to red. Okay, so it does change, cool. Let's see if we change our Tailwind config, if that updates. So if we open Tailwind, JS. Let's change red to just some other color just to see if it works. Okay, change it to green. This should be green. Okay, so that works. Let me just put that back. And let's open Tailwind CSS and see if we can add some custom CSS. So let's do that button. Let's extract the component. Say BG red, text white. And let's use that in here. Um, instead of BG red, let's do button. Obviously, it's not a button, but you understand what I'm trying to do. And yeah, that worked. Cool. Let's double check. Yeah, there you go. So you see it there. Cool. Okay, so this package also supports purge CSS, which greatly reduces the file size of the final output, which you should definitely use if you're using this in production. So all you have to do is tack on this purge setting when you do ng tailwind build. So let's go to our package JSON here. And for build, we'll just tack that on. Actually, let me show you the size of it before we run that command and then we'll show i'll show it to you after so yeah if we just run npm run build then we should get a dist folder and you'll see the css in there uh, so i'll do it in here npm run build okay so you can see the styles are in javascript still uh, and it's 1.21 megabytes, which is pretty big. Let me show you. So in our dist folder, here is all the files you need if you were the hostess. And the styles are right here. They're still in JavaScript, but this is the file. And it's 1.21 megabytes. Uh, let me just show you. Okay, so 1.2 megabytes, which is pretty big. So if we were just to tack on... Uh, where's package JSON? Right here. If you just tack on, oops, what was it again? It was purge. This should greatly reduce everything and only make use of the CSS classes that you're using. So let's run that again. And there you see it's 23 kilobytes now. So if you go into here, you'll see styles.js. So if you reveal it in Finder, 23 kilobytes. Awesome. So there you have it, guys. We managed to get Tailwind CSS working with an Angular project and also made use of Purge CSS. Definitely make use of this great plugin if you're looking to use Tailwind CSS within an Angular project. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.
Okay, thanks. Bye.